Hey fam, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining us on my birthday trip here to the Maldives. All right, so here you got the man of the hour, our personal Dimitri himself. He's assigned to us. You know, if our toes hurt anything, he's on a click of a button. All right, Dimitri. If your toes hurt, then yes. find doctor. Something ready. Do you have waterproof camera? GoPro? Um, no, we have the, the stuff in the um for, for, the, the, phone. for the phone. The case. Yes. The waterproof case. We have the waterproof case. What's the bowl also? So we So when we initially were looking to book the trip, we really wanted to split our stay here at the Anantara Kihava between a beach villa and an over the water villa but we decided to go ahead and just stay at the water villa and we had the opportunity to tour this beach villa and of course we wanted you guys to see what you would have versus staying in an over water villa I really love the fact that they had their own private beach. That was my favorite part. And the outdoor part is also very different because they have a slightly different setup to what we have in the overwater villa. Love their bathroom area. It actually looked a lot bigger than the overwater villa's own. But the rest of the um the villa itself is a little smaller than the over water villas So with the overwater villas, children are not allowed to stay unless they're over 12, I think. It was said that in the past, children had been known to fall over into the water at the overwater villas. So for safety purposes, they no longer allow children of a certain age to stay at the overwater villas. There was absolutely no way I could get bored of these spaces. I was truly in awe. I loved every single part of these spaces. Thank you. 
after touring the living space we then took a nice stroll down to the private beach this was a very bright <laughs> sunny day it felt like if the sun was reflecting off of the sand So Jay was very enraptured with all of the birds and the lizards. Any kind of wildlife he could find, he was trying to film. Yeah man, sunlight is, is ridiculous. So after viewing the beach villa, we came and booked a few water activities. We made sure we did this in advance because we only had a few days left on the island and we wanted to ensure that we used up all of our time wisely. So as some of you would know, based on the last um, trip that we took to Mexico for Jay's birthday, I cannot ride a bike and he tried to teach me within like, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes, which did not work out. Um, so the mode of transportation on this island is either by the golf cart or a bicycle. and. Because I can't ride a normal bike, Dima, our host, suggested one of the tricycles. So this was perfect. I love it. I now want a tricycle for here in New York, y'all. It is customary here in the Maldives to rinse your feet off before you go into any space. So these big urns and ladles were at most entrances so that you can rinse your feet off. So like we said before, we were not planning on wasting any time. So we booked a jet ski tour that part of the afternoon and it was so much fun. Jay was just flying. He was going like a hundred miles an hour and I was holding on for dear life. At one point I was taking um, the video of us while we were on the jet ski and then the person who took us out on the tour also took a video of us so i love that he was able to capture us on the jet ski that's the thing about the maldives the staff they're all so like welcoming and willing to do the things that you ask um, 
and it is never a bother in fact some of them even suggest hey I can do this for you I can hold the camera and really really love that very very accommodating So after jet skiing, we came back to the villa, did a quick change, and then we did a little glass bottom boat kayaking. There wasn't a lot to see um, where we were um, actually able to use the kayak because there are certain areas that are near the reef that we're not supposed to be going into that area unsupervised because they don't want anyone to like damage or hurt the coral reef. So we spent about 10 minutes or so on the kayak and then decided to go grab our snorkels and just snorkel around the area closer to shore. to see a few small fishes while snorkeling but there were other times when we saw different bigger fish closer to the villa including this day when Jay happened to have his phone out and he captured this stingray One of the things that I truly loved was, and you gotta hear me say that a lot. So there were many things I love actually, but <laughs> I especially loved that you didn't have to do much. Getting dressed was so easy. Find the simplest, easiest dress that you can put on. Forget about shoes. You can wear your sandals or go shoeless. 
wherever you go on this island. So shoes are always optional. Which way? We're going to see. You got it. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. So, <laughs> Will assist you. Thank you That's so much. it? Oh, thank you so much. I'll see you later. So this is spice. This is spice. Hmm. Okay. I have to come to spice tomorrow then. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's the Noah restaurant. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just getting the sign. That's the restaurant. Where? In the water. <gasps> That's it over there? Yeah. No way. In the water, yeah. You see? Come here. Oh, oh they also. Oh. So you will be. Within two minutes, you will be there. Oh my goodness, all you can see is a shadow. Yeah. I need to come here during the day to see in the in the daytime. <laughs> Beautiful. Chills it and sanitize. Yep. Um. <laughs> Upon entering the restaurant, we had two glasses of wine. This restaurant actually sources wines from all over the globe. I love that. In fact, I think it has one of the largest wine cellars underwater in the entire world. Um, or else, I think, uh, shall we go there? Then? Definitely much better that one. Oh, yes. Oh, here. Dining here was definitely one of the highlights of this trip. lucky to see a shark while we were there in fact we saw a whole ton of different fish and lobsters and you name it they were swimming all around us very good experience Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Though the food was quite delicious, I cannot remember exactly what I had. <laughs> and I feel like if everywhere on that island, no matter what we ate, it was good. So there wasn't anything that I would say stood out more than the other. The food in general was fresh and tasty. And um, this night, I think we drank, I don't know how many glasses of wine, but we drank quite a bit. And by the time I was leaving, I was feeling a little bit tipsy. <laughs> Which was not a bad thing because it's not like we needed to go drive anywhere. So <laughs> and the best time to indulge is when you're on vacation and you aren't in need of driving. So while I'm on vacation, I don't normally like monitor what i eat so all dietary restrictions are literally out the door i don't know if you are like me fam but let me know because i think that just having to think or be conscious about every single thing you put in your mouth while you're on vacation is stressful in and of itself so just relax eat what you want eat what makes you happy and enjoy it it's not like you're doing this every single day of your life Let me see how it's brushing up. Start complaining about the heat. No, That's all, you know. Yeah, she it's has had hot too many. We had like yes. my legs too tired and shaking. Helps it easy. Yes, she's wobbling. Mm -hmm. You making me wobble? You just close me rather than <laughs> see. Look, <laughs> yeah. the eyes are dilated. See them? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Oh crap. Everyone is gone except us. Yup. I know who's gonna have fun tonight. I could tell you that. Me in my dreams. Yes. Sleeping hard. Sleeping hard. Ooh. She doesn't know what's going on. She's in a different world. <laughs> Oh, that's the telescope right there. Come, 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 Yes. No. Right? I wonder if we can walk yeah, in there. People, I don't know if you can oh. tell, but clearly Jay and I were both a little, you know, extra <laughs> sweet. <laughs> and we walked back to the villa, but we made it back there safely, as you can tell. Right. Um, you know, and now the clothes, some new towels, all of that. You know, we, we kind of left the place a bit unruly yes we left it unruly so let's straighten up you know put our belongings over there yeah and they came back to the desk roll up the cords you know restack the ice back on the welcome champagne and they came back and made the bed So, royal treatment, I would say. And they left us a little note too on a leaf. One of the things that I always miss when I go on vacation is that the fact that I can come go out, come back in, and the space is clean and tidy, my bed is made. I hate having to do that when I come back from vacation. So guys, this is the type of life that I want. This is the type of life that I am going to manifest. I dream of it. It will be so, period. So this next morning, we are up very early. I think it was around six the sun rises maybe around five or 5 30 and we wanted to get a few drone shots for my birthday but they didn't quite come out the way we wanted or rather the way i wanted so we ended up doing another shoot um more inland so that we were surrounded by the trees i actually loved how that came out a lot better but at least we wanted to share with you guys the footage that we got that morning. Go. Yeah. Oh, keep going. All the way. Nice. After the shoot, we had a quick breakfast and was off to see the sandbank. Unfortunately, the type of footage I wanted again did not work out because the drone didn't get uh, enough time to um, charge. So it was dead by the time we reached the sandbank. I cannot tell you how disappointed I was. I can just imagine the footage we would have gotten in the aerial shots. I see them all the time and that's exactly what I was imagining but I guess it wasn't meant to be. 
anyway we still enjoyed that trip to the sandbank and i did get to take a few photos there Sandbanks usually appear when the tide is low so if you want to visit one the people at the resort will tell you what's the best time because they're not always seen and it can actually disappear within a couple of minutes as soon as high tide comes so we were glad for the opportunity to actually be there and walk on this little strip of sand The water surrounding it was so low i could walk and walk and felt like i was not getting into deeper waters that was a little scary to me <laughs> those things really freaked me out like how is water this low so far up yeah. <laughs> After snorkeling for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes, I was already tired and decided I want out. <laughs> and Jay stayed in for a bit longer and we left probably after about 30 minutes or so being here, snorkeling closer to the reef. This area is known to be one of the best places to come and snorkel where you can see all types of fish. This was so creative. I mean, the first day when we reached, they also had a very good welcoming note that was done in this really artistic way. <laughs> so jay and i finally opened up the champagne and we hung out by the pool for most of the rest of the afternoon 
listen we have this overwater villa why not enjoy it for a bit right so we just laid out soaked up some sun drank the entire bottle of champagne and then we were starving <laughs> We finally got out of the pool, ordered some room service, and I ventured out into the ocean behind our villa. Now, for me, the reason why I didn't go into the ocean much back here was because of the coral, like there are some fine pieces of coral on the area, and it could be a little sharp underneath your feet. Our food soon came and Jay had this really huge fish. Guys, the thing was probably as long as my forearm. It was so big. Look at it. So we scarfed down our food. Well, we didn't quite scarf it all down because that fish was so big that half of it was left. And then soon after we ate, we both got extremely tired and fell asleep. Dinner tonight is on the beach <laughs> and I am so looking forward to it. Yes. Life saxophone. It looks beautiful. This was especially nice because of the live entertainment. My goodness, this guy played some of the best sounds, my faves actually. And uh, the food, oh, so good. I remember what we had tonight. We had um, lobster, shrimp, where they were grilled, um, a lot of vegetables. There was just a ton of different things at the buffet t station but then they also had a la carte where you ordered your main dish your main course so it was wonderful the appetizers 
I had a ceviche that I felt like I wanted for the entire night, but I knew I couldn't do that because I wanted to also have my main course, but the food was delish. I was truly surprised but this was one night that i could not have my cake and eat it too <laughs> i was already so stuffed because i had, had eaten dessert already so we had to take the cake back to the villa we ate some more the next day but a lot of it was remaining unfortunately you know <laughs> no, you're gonna tell it true. I got to? Yeah. Oh, I have to? Yeah, did you know? Yes. I'm gonna add the money.
by the time we finished eating i was already tired again <laughs> but we had already booked to go see the stars so <laughs> me going back to bed was not an option Yes, yes. So Dima was gracious enough to come pick us up after dinner to take us over to the observatory. We were a little late, so a group of people were already there and we were the last to arrive. Yes, we're going to go see the solar system. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. It depends on the okay. interpretation, so usually they show around 4 or 5 different space objects. Oh, okay. So first form, I say 15-20 minutes, uh -huh. and then we will talk about the stars, and they have a laser, uh -huh. and they will point to the stars and explain uh, okay. why it is, and what kind of star it is, and what translations, uh -huh. and then you will go to observatory and actually see those stars. Oh, okay. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Oh wow. wow. I need that to take that very, very good astrophysics and astronomy for in the Maldives and I've been doing it for the last twenty years since twenty twenty since two thousand two. Nice. Right. Uh, whatever you see here, this is this whole idea, the concept, everything is my own. Wow. You know, it's not you know, the group's idea or anything, only solely at Anantara Kino the this concept. So uh thank you. First of all, welcome welcome to coming and thank you so much for coming. Uh, so first coming 10-20 minutes, I'll be uh, trying to give you some explanation about astronomy, not in a major uh, formula, forget about that. <laughs> I'm not going to be talking about parallax view and how you can get into the calculation of the star, distance and everything. But we'll be going into very unique and everybody's interested. Some of the questions you always say. Observed by a very famous English astronomer, his name is Andrew Foster we were able to see a few stars that night that were considered like some of the most exciting stars to look at unfortunately though we weren't able to see any of the planets or the moon because of the time of the year when those planets would appear it would have been later or rather early in the morning of the following day so we were offered the option of coming back out early that morning to see it and we jumped on that offer so we were up at like 4 a.m so that we could observe the planet see you soon their bathrooms <laughs> on rail on rail this is our last day on the island and i'm waiting on jay because we decided that we would ride around a bit just to see a few things that we hadn't seen before. I'm here waiting on Jay to meet me and decided to take a few shots. I really loved how these colors that I was wearing worked with the greenery. You, you literally what? 
I spend all my life waiting on you. I've been waiting on you, then you arrive and I'm still waiting. Go, G. Go. Okay. Go. <laughs> Squats, rockets. Gee, what they got on that green field over there? And the tennis area. So you're gonna do some kickboxing, I presume? Yeah. You mind if I catch you? For 2.5 seconds. Okay. I'm actually pretty good. Oh, you are? I have one at home. Oh, so. I'm really good all right suit up real real quick one minute suit up because i gotta split okay. all right so let me go get my so over in this area is the gym and the area where there's kickboxing i think taekwondo or something to that effect and we met this lady earlier while we were having breakfast so jay decided he would film a little bit of her you know doing her little session here with this bag these bags look so heavy and hard <laughs> kudos to you because i don't think i could Now, I never got a chance to get to the gym, but Jay took a tour and recorded all of this, which I appreciate. Now, this is the type of gym that I would want to go to because it has the indoor outdoor feel with the open air, you know, so you're able to have that fresh air flowing through. I love it. The next time, and there will be the next time that we come to Anantara Kihava, I will be using the gym because I promise that I will be staying in a little longer so I wouldn't feel so much of a rush to do everything and more. So definitely on the future plans, very near future. Next, we stopped off at the beautiful orchid garden. I love orchids. I can't keep one to save my life though. But I think I learned something today that I didn't understand. And I just needed to have a little bit more patience because once the flower falls off, the plant lives. And I always felt like it was dying and that <laughs> once the flower fall off that the plant will die but i learned today that the flowers only bloom twice a year so i just needed to be more patient so i'm gonna give myself a chance to grow another orchid So you're the nurser. You're the you're the man that takes care of all the babies. Can I catch you? Yes. Oh, okay. 
All right, perfect. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. It's nice. Yes. This variety only twice a year flower comes. Oh, yeah. only twice a year? Yes. Mm. Yeah. So when the flower dies, yeah. eventually it, glow, it grows again? Yes. Yes. I need to find out. <laughs> Mine's always die. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Nice. Love it. Love it. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Which one is that? Don't have this one, but this one you can take. This one? Oh, yeah. Ooh. You smell it? Nice. Oh, man. It's it really good. good. Yeah, it smells good. Very oh. strong. <laughs> nice, nice mm -hmm. aroma. See if it's a pickup. <laughs> You're getting watered. <laughs> it's like a mist. So the water and it just sprays it like all over. Morning dew. Yes. So everything grows out of the coconuts. Yes. They use the coconut, coconut, the coconut. as a base, like a soil. Yes. Beautiful. So every tree that has these, that's what you're growing. Yes. That's where they start. Nice. Then over by the kids section. Now, this was fairly quiet. I think kids actually enjoy beach time. <laughs> but this is good that they have these type of activities to ent entertain themselves as well. Finally, we decided to just relax here for a bit by the main pool, something we hadn't done at all. And I love this space. I love that they have the swinging beds, which I capitalized on a little later. And the water in the pool is always so warm. Jay definitely enjoyed this pool. I couldn't get him to come out. <laughs> He was inside the pool for quite a bit while I was just laying on the bed, relaxing.
We were checking out a little later on in the evening, but we needed to head back and actually pack something that we decided to leave for right the last minute. It was like we didn't want to actually go, you know? Like me, who wants to leave this? No one, at least no one in their right minds. <laughs> so I wanted to take a quick dip in the ocean right before um, going back to the villa. Did I tell you guys how warm the water is here? You get into the ocean and it's never cold. It felt so warm every time. Usually in the Caribbean, even though it's hot, the water can still have a little chill to it. Um, unless it's really hot summer days. But in the Maldives, I don't know. I really don't know how the, 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 the part of the equator that the islands are on if it's just like closer to the sun or something but yeah the sun hits you different there and the water is always warm So we finished packing and freshened up and came back to the main restaurant to have a late lunch and we are actually over here watching because we realized that there was a boat waiting for us already. Not very exciting news. <laughs> I think I might be kicking and screaming while leaving this island guys. I did not want to leave and I was really really sad actually. As much as I look okay, I was not okay. himself, mm -hmm. the man of the hour, Dima. <laughs> the best, the best, the best. Beyond what we do today. Appreciate it so much. <laughs> All right. Time for you to live. <laughs> yes, it means. <laughs> it means. Yeah, the boat is and now here. Yep. The, so the boat is now here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Happiness. Da 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 da. La 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 la. Oh, some more people coming in? Nope. That is a royal VIP boat coming for us only. <laughs> Oh really? Yes. Do you is see? That a VIP boat for us? It is. We came in on a VIP boat. Is that what you're saying right now? Yes, that's what we're saying. No, saying don't go. So it is time for us to leave. No! <laughs> don't say. And we have an additional friend to the family. Dima. Yes. So people, whenever you come, make sure you request him. Okay, the best on the island, the best, all your documents, form, everything, lock and load, you don't even have to sign a paper, I'm telling you, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm telling you man, so it's, it's nice, see they even have the grand goodbye, Awaits oh, us. You're gonna make me cry. Yeah, the astronomer himself, Shamim, 
and the resort manager himself, Thomas, correct? Yes. And I think that's the More captain of the boat. Yeah, I know. And the whole works. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Don't cry, Gloria. Thank you. Don't make, me make sure you leave that moon. We're coming back. All right, Thomas. All right. Great, man. Great. Make sure you put that clothing line out. I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure Dima watch you. All right. All right. Good. Ah, the us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, Box. Where's the? Hold on. Where's the? Where's the power? This time? It might be off. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sell. They make what? you feel so sad that you're leaving. Oh, Steve is here. Push it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we got Dima. What a sense. Oh.